Hello Plant City, I'm Bill McDaniel, your city manager. Today, we're here to talk about our reptilian neighbors and dispel some common myths about these scaly creatures, all while offering safety tips in case of an alligator encounter right here in our beautiful city. Alligators belong to the reptile family. They live throughout our natural environment and they are indigenous to our area. They live in freshwater areas like ponds, marshes, rivers, and lakes. Alligators spend the majority of their time underwater out of sight. Gators, on average, try to avoid people and only come to land for a few reasons, such as sunning themselves to regulate their body temperature or traveling on land to find a new body of water to live in. Plant City has many freshwater ponds, canals, and other types of waterways. Bottom line, if there is water, you can bet there's the possibility of an alligator. Alligators can be found all around our city and are most active from dusk to dawn. Here are some signs that a gator may be around. Any body of water has the potential to host an alligator. Smooth sides along a bank of water where gators enter and exit. A pond area within a pond similar to the habitat at the Cherry Street Park. Just because we see an alligator in the open doesn't mean it's time to panic. While all alligators can be harmful to humans and animals on land and should always be avoided, there are signs to look for when it's time to call the Parks Department. The biggest sign to look for is if an alligator follows a human or animal. Alligators usually retreat when humans are near, so if the gator doesn't run away, you definitely should. When an alligator gets too big, it must be removed from its current location and relocated to a safer environment. If a gator is in your neighborhood or in close proximity to humans or animals, never try to wrangle, catch, or feed an alligator. If you feel an alligator is a nuisance or a danger to our community, please reach out to either our Parks and Rec Department or our Community Engagement Center. Today, we're joined by Michael Womer, also known as the Gator Crusader, who is going to help share some alligator safety tips with us. Michael is a trained professional. You should never attempt to handle, harass, or feed an alligator. Hey everybody, my name is Michael, but most people call me the Gator Crusader. Now, I've been working with alligators 30 years, so I realize they are out here in Florida. How do we live with alligators? We got some cool safety tips that I learned from Chewy here that I'd love to share with you. First thing, if you see an alligator, leave it alone. Just stay away. The second thing, very important, probably the most important, do not feed an alligator. Alligators have a natural fear of people, which that's what we want. We want them to stay away, be afraid of us. That keeps them safe. That keeps us safe. Another thing that's pretty darn important is don't call the authorities every single time you see an alligator. That would be like calling the authorities every time you saw a cloud in the sky. There are gators in Florida. Almost every body of water has an alligator in it. For every 10 people in Florida, there is an alligator. So they are everywhere. If the alligator is showing signs of aggression, if he's chasing little kids around, of course we have to keep humans safe. You can call the authorities then. But if he's out minding his own business, out in the middle of a lake, just leave him alone. They're out there. What's something else you should do? You should admire and be amazed at these beautiful animals. And we have them in our backyard. We get to see them every day. So it's something we should really appreciate. So as you can see, alligators are a common sight in our community. And we want our residents and visitors to understand when to call to remove an alligator and when to leave the gator alone. No matter the case, we should always keep our distance and enjoy these magnificent creatures safely as we take one more step into the future.